Do you see the future of transportation being in electric vehicles? Want to profit from that future? Would you like to invest in businesses that stand to make a lot of money in this space and also pay safe growing dividends? Then you have to check out today's video. He is a best-selling author. 30-year-old Jason Fieber has a plan. This guy retired at only 33 years old. I don't know if I know too many people that have accomplished something like that. He's really kind of a guru when it comes to passive income. Before I get into today's content, please give us a big thumbs up if you find value in our videos. It helps us to get the word out and grow the channel, and I'd really appreciate it. Electric vehicles are the future. That's where transportation is going. Most major auto manufacturers are bending over backwards to ramp up EV production. Investors can choose to ignore this or they can jump on board and make some money. I don't know about you, but I like that second idea a lot better. Unfortunately, a lot of investments in the EV space aren't great ideas for dividend growth investors. That's because you're often looking at sky high valuations, poor fundamentals, and most importantly, no dividends. Paying a super high price for no profit on the horizon and no dividends, and not even a lot of certainty that the business will actually survive, no bueno. However, there are some high quality dividend growth stocks out there that can and will cater to the oncoming EV wave. These are wonderful businesses that earn a ton of profit and pay safe growing dividends. And I wanna tell you about three high quality dividend growth stocks that fit the mold. These are stocks that should do well no matter what, but they stand to do particularly well in an EV future. And each of these businesses cater to a different aspect of that EV future. Ready to profit and earn safe growing dividends from EVs? Let's dig in. The first stock I wanna tell you about is Albemarle Corporation, stock ticker ALB. Albemarle is one of the world's largest lithium producers. All of those EVs, they require batteries, and all those batteries, they require lithium. That's where Albemarle steps in. And this isn't some new kid on the block. This is a dividend aristocrat with 27 consecutive years of dividend increases. They've built this amazing track record of growing its profit and dividend on the back of high quality chemicals and catalyst operations that steadily chugged higher and higher over time. Adding lithium to the mix a few years back was transformative at just the right time. They're perfectly positioned for the EV wave. The stock yields a bit over 1%, so it's not an income play. This is one that'll go to work for you and compound your wealth and passive income while you sleep. While the stock might look expensive at first glance, the price to cash flow ratio of 19.2 isn't that much higher than its own three-year average of 18.5, yet they're arguably in a more advantageous spot now than they've ever been. Put this stock on your shopping list if you wanna be part of the future of transportation and energy. The second stock I wanna share with you is Magna International Inc, stock ticker MGA. Magna is a major supplier of components to the auto industry. Those EVs have doors, steering wheels, and seats just like all other cars. Magna has been making money with these components for a long time, and they'll continue to do so with EVs. Tesla, for example, is one of their customers. Magna has increased its dividend for 12 consecutive years, and an EV future sets them up really well to continue increasing that dividend like clockwork. The yield is near 2% and Magna has a 10-year dividend growth rate of 20.2%. Wow, this dividend growth is largely possible because Magna doubled its free cash flow over the last decade. Just keep in mind that this is a Canadian stock so that dividend could have a foreign tax withholding for Americans that you'd have to claim back at tax time. The only bummer, the stock has gone on a huge run. It's up more than 160% over the last year. That's great if you bought in a while ago, not so great if you wanna buy now, but when a train is chugging along, you can either complain that you didn't get in at the start or jump on and enjoy the ride that's still to come. Look for any kind of pullback in Magna shares as an opportunity. The third stock is Algonquin Power and Utilities Corp, stock ticker AQN. Algonquin is a utility company that's heavily building out 
its green energy portfolio. Those EVs don't run on air, they run on electricity, and it's companies like this one that'll produce the electricity those EVs need. Algonquin is a unique Canadian utility that has an extremely wide geographic footprint, reducing its regulatory exposure to any one municipality. The company has increased its dividend for 12 consecutive years with a 10-year dividend growth rate of 11.8%. That double-digit dividend growth rate comes on top of the stock's current yield of 3.8%. Just keep in mind that what I said about Magna also applies to this stock in terms of the foreign tax withholding. In my view, this is an opportunity to get yield while you gain exposure to green energy and the oncoming shift to EVs. It's a one-two punch. After all, how better to play clean transportation than with clean energy? This isn't a stodgy utility either. Revenue has sextupled and earnings per share has compounded at an annual rate of almost 24% over the last decade. Compared to other green energy utility stocks out there, I see AQN as an opportunity to sneak in at a lower valuation and snag a higher yield. Of the three stocks I'm talking about, I see this one as the most viable right now. Thanks so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed today's video. Give us a like if you did, and let us know in the comments what you think about these three stocks. Please make sure to subscribe to the channel and ring that notification bell so that you don't miss out on new content. Also take a look at the description box below for some important links, including a link to my personal stock portfolio. This six-figure portfolio, which I call the Fire Fund, generates enough passive dividend income for me to live off of. It allowed me to retire in my early 30s. I've made my portfolio entirely accessible over a Patreon, and I also post alerts there whenever I buy, or sell a stock. I put my money where my mouth is and I'm often invested in the same high quality dividend growth stocks that I make videos on. Over the years, I've heard from thousands of investors who've been profiting from many of the same exact stocks that I own. So if you think this is something that you could benefit from as well, check the link in the description to see my portfolio and start getting my buy and sell alerts. I'll see you next time.